and welcome. This is our presentation, our teaser presentation for our next uh, Ipsos Journal Club. We are here with Dr. Mohamed Hani, our uh, author uh, for the next Journal Club, with a very special uh, paper we, we choose. Uh, the name of the paper is uh, Revisional Blue and White Gastric Bypass versus Revisional One Anastomosis Gastric Bypass After Fail Sleep Gastrectomy, a Randomized Control Trial. Dr. Uh, Mohamed Hani is an associate professor at the Department of Surgery Medical Research Institute in Alexandria University in Egypt and a consultant of bariatric surgery at Marina Women's Hospital, uh, who is an IPSO Center, uh, Center of Excellence uh, in our European chapter. But uh, he's also uh, part of a team with another author, who is uh, Dr. Bart. Bar Torensma. Dr. Torensma is, is also an, a PhD in clinical epi epidemiology and, and bariatric surgery. Uh, he's working as a consultant in epidemiologist and data scientist, in, and he's doing a full time collaboration with a medical research institute uh, with Dr. Hani. So, this is uh, a very special uh, kind of research because we are mixing. Uh, a surgery and epidemiology, and for us, it is, it is very important to acknowledge uh, this kind of value in, uh, on a paper. So, welcome, Dr. Hani. Uh, thank you, and, and first of all, uh, congratulations on your paper. Uh, we already talked about it. Uh, uh, doing randomized controlled trials, it's a very difficult thing to do. It's, it's, it's not easy to do. And uh, first of all, as a surgeon, I, I need to acknowledge the, and, and congratulate you and your team because it's a very uh, difficult thing to do. And welcome to to, to this uh, teaser trader of the, our next journal club and welcome. Thank you so much for your kind invitation. Uh, you present us uh, kindly and very well. Thank you so much. And also thank you for the committee that uh, allowed me to be a presenter in the next journal club. Uh, really appreciating this. And also I'd like to thank my co-authors for their efforts uh, that they have uh, spent during preparation and working on this paper. Okay. Great. Uh, we need to address this briefly because we need to uh, left uh, to our audience with more because our journal club is next, next month. But uh for me this um and for most of 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 our surgeons this uh topic of weight regain and revision of surgery it's it's a very important topic so uh, how was your process uh how was your main question at the beginning of this of this research about how to assess weight regain how to assess a very complex situation because weight regain is very it's a very complex matter it's not about eating more it's not about uh behavior it's it's, it's a very complex situation so how do you manage to address weight regain in a way to um to plan this research and to obtain valuable data yes Okay, you know very well that sleep gastrectomy uh, nowadays has gained uh, market popularity and recognized by the EFSO as the most common performance procedure, about accounting for 45% uh, from the procedure supported to the EFSO in 2018. Okay, and we felt that many patients have regained their weight and they need a secondary surgery for this. Sufficient weight loss, weight regain is a problem with the old type of surgery. Yes, we know. And we, have, we know that we have many aspects regarding this topic. Either that the, the surgery was not done correctly, the patients will not follow up correctly with you. So when the patients come to you and uh, wants for you to revise again what he did, and he also need to lose more weight, you must study all the factors that are responsible for this. Study the anatomy, the behavior of the patient, something like this. And then you can, after this, you can make the patient follow must strict regimens and 
set with you psychiatrists, nutritionists, to to reach the original problem with. And if, if it's all solved, and the patient, yes, we all have reached a consensus that we need to do a surgery, this is the problem. What type of surgery we choose for this patient? Because you know that you have many options. You can do in Y, one and smooth, side yes, BBD, with the switch, many things. All these procedures have proven their efficiency as a primary one. But at revisional settings, we don't know how they can behave. And also the patients with stiff gastrectomy have a flux symptom. And every type of surgery has uh, an impact on symptomatology of GERD after the surgery. So to choose right what to do, it's a very difficult one. So and in the literature, when upon reviewing the literature, you didn't find any randomized trial concerned about the sleeve gastrectomy and how we can do randomization with wither sleeve or grown Y or something like this. So this is the idea of us that we choose to do RCT with first we don't we need to know the weight of the patient, the occurrence of complications, the nutritional aspects of the of both surgeries and we excluded the girl that like to say we have many impacts and many controversial results and this is one we need to work on again perfect ah this is a a, a very very uh interesting matter of how, how to randomize and how to uh follow patients uh, in time you managed to follow these patients two years. Two years. And, uh, three years? No, two years. Three years. Two years. Yes. And uh, and you get very valuable data about uh, the outcomes in weight, in resolution of complications. Um, just to give the our audience uh, a, a, a idea of what we are going to talk deeply in our journal club, what's your uh, recommendation for young surgeons to do with patients with a sleep, with weight regain, with the data do you get from your trial, from your RCT? Yes, first of all, you, you need for the young surgeon to have a mentor for you. First of all, second thing, we, regarding the data we have uh, accomplished with this paper, uh, I'd like to say that you can do whatever you want from the type of surgery and why or one and modus if the patient has no significant reflux, you will achieve the same result at two years. Okay, but still with the, with the patients with GERD B or higher, we still recommend that you can do rule and why till the results become mature. And you can test these patients with multicentric studies, and you can collect more patients with this type of flux. Excellent. So we have a, a couple of questions. We can go further because we have one month, uh, or more or less, a couple of weeks to wait for a journal club. So uh, stay uh, in tune. We will see you next uh, November. Uh, in the complete presentation with Dr. Hani, Dr. Torensma. So uh, we hope to see you, all of you, in our next journal club. Thanks, Dr. Hani, and hope you be well and see you soon at our next journal club. Good day. See you soon, next journal club. Thank you so much.